Good morning, everybody. Good morning! We're off to a museum, and I'm excited. I'm very excited. It's Kukudbury uh, Stewartry Museum, I think it's called. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's, it's supposed to be quite a lot of interesting things in there. It's free to get in. Leave a donation if you like. And it's supposed to house the oldest sports trophy in the world. For what sport? You'll have to wait and see. Oh. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. I do like trophies, I do like sports, so uh, let's get down there, let's see what's, what the crack is. Oh, it's all downhill as well. I've just invented something. Oh. Does anything like the curry the other night? <laughs> no, green. Green what? <laughs> you know when you're ill, uh, when you're tired in the morning, oh. <laughs> wouldn't it be great if we were all, you know, really green if you're really tired, and just your normal colour if you're not tired, <laughs> slightly green if you're a little bit tired, wouldn't it be handy? You know, you could be walking down the street and you see old Mary across the road and say, oh, oh Mary, you're tired today because she's really green. <laughs> and then maybe you need to go to the doctors, you're not feeling too good. Hey doctor, uh, I've just no energy, I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, you're not tired. They can tell you, see, because he isn't green. <laughs> I think it's a brilliant invention. I don't know how you'd actually put it into practice, but it's a good idea, isn't it? You should patron. What is it called? Payton, that. I should patron that. Payton. <laughs> Payton. 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 <laughs> That's a bad. <laughs> we almost went into the wrong museum. <laughs> Across the road there, Kukudbury Galleries. It's an art gallery. That would have been good. No, it wasn't. It really wasn't. Um, yeah, this is it up here, the Stewardy Museum. Stewardry, Stewardy. Strange name. And here it is. It's a lovely building. Little thistles on top there. Looks like a little castle. A bit of art here. Check that out. That is beautiful. A big stag coming out of, made out of willow. That is lovely. Okay, that isn't what it said on the website. Hmm. Um, Sundays it's only open one till four. Yeah. It's twenty past twelve, so we can't get in. And um, also, it says a booking system is in place. Did it really? Yeah. Where did I read that? A booking system is in place to assist social distancing. We might not get in it. Well, we have to get in here. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll try and get in before we leave the Kukudbury anyway, but... Yeah. I don't, so what now? I don't know. We'll have to do come back up. Mind you, if it's a booking system, we haven't booked in. That's what I'm saying. Maybe they're not even going to bother opening today if there's no one Oh, they book. are. They are. Let's have a think about it. Yeah, let's take a walk into town then. So we're at the art gallery. We are not going in. <laughs> she hadn't asked me yet, but we are not going in. I have a costume. You said no. <laughs> but this is where we're just missing this by 9th of October. It's coming. The Galloway Hoard. Now I know the people who. Well, I don't. I've never met them, but um, I have had a bit of a Facebook chat with them in the past. Um, the people who found this, and I would like to see it, but. We're not going to. I think it's doing a tour of Scotland. Yeah. Never mind. <sighs> Had to come back for some of your Scottish tablet, didn't we? Yeah. You were worried that the sun would be melting it. Got a brolly over it. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Look forward to trying that. Yeah. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. It's Proper not... art for you in here, Mazzy. It's not art, is it? It's art. It's the alternative. Could be hard. I don't get it. Well, you see this fishing net up here? Yeah. Everything you see in there has been found on the streets of Kukudri. Well, whoever found that 20 quid note was a lucky yeah. so and so, weren't they? 20 pound note there. <laughs> was found. Um, you've got a, a pencil with a broken end. You've got uh, a pet toy. Um, older there. There's a coin down there. There's a piece of plastic. You know, it's the alternative hard, Mazzy. That's art. Mm. I wouldn't want that hanging on my wall. <laughs> you seen this? Masonic like arms. A black building. Oh, that's yeah, strange. Isn't it? Shiny black. Very glossy, isn't it? It is, isn't it? <laughs> it's about a hundred layers of paint on that, isn't it? Yeah, it must be. This is a lovely little street we've come down. 
lots of little art gallery things and some of them are just houses where people have got things for sale in the front windows. Displaying their art and yeah. stuff. And yeah. this, and you can just knock on the door to buy them. Now the reason they're doing that is because this is the toll booth. Oh I see the shuttle. <laughs> and I believe this is an art centre now. So they'll obviously get a lot of tourists here. But there is a bit of history here. I don't know what it is. But I'm gonna have a look. I'm not seeing what I will come in to look for, Mazzy. I thought there'd be some plaques about certain people. Well, this is good, look, you've got a plaque up there. And look, Her Majesty the Queen opened it. Oh, the Queen opened in it in 1993. 1993. <laughs> As an art centre, that is. Yeah, they are nice buildings. I believe it used to be a prison. Oh, yeah, you've got a story, didn't you? Well, it's had a few famous prisoners, but the only one I've heard of is... Mm -hmm. What's his name? Jean, Jean Paul... Somebody. Gautier? <laughs> no, are you joking? <laughs> John Paul, okay, Admiral John Paul or something. The, a sailor. The American sailor. Right. He was known mm -hmm. as something like the King of the Navy or something in yep. America. Turn around and tell everybody your story. Well, I think that's it. <laughs> I think that guy was on a boat and died at Flamborough Head in mm -hmm. a battle, the Battle of Flamborough Head, I think. Um, but, you think? Yeah, I think. I know so many things, my head gets jumbled. <laughs> <laughs> but he was imprisoned here for three years, I think. Oh. I don't know why. Bit of history. Uh, I thought there were shackles and... Oh, there is a there shackle. Is a shackle yeah. Up the top of these steps. Let's just take you up here. Yeah, there is a shackle up here, look. A little door. Check that out. So I'm guessing they would put the prisoners up here on display for the old town to see. You are quite high up. You can imagine hundreds of people stood around booing you and throwing tomatoes at you and stuff. And this will have had a cross on it, I'm sure. It's a nice building, but we can't hang around here, has it? We've booked tickets for in three minutes at the museum. Come on. You can see where the bars were on all the windows. These ones are still got them mine. Oh, yeah. They've got the holes on all the windows. Yeah, bars in there, they've been taken off there. Yeah, nice building. As for this at the front, I've no idea. I don't understand what this would be for. Got a fountain at the bottom here. Tiny little door. And these levers. Someone tell us a story about that because we haven't got time to hang around in Wikipedia it, so come on, let's go. Yeah. Mazzy wanted a quick look at this house. It's pretty. It's what do you call these? Tuk tuks, is it? Yeah, I don't know, yeah. Tuk tuk. Now, I don't know who this woman is either, but she's very famous, Mazzy. I think she might be an artist. Jessie M. King lived and worked in this house. And E. A. Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor lived here. Oh, it is open. You can pop in. Yeah, if you're interested in art. Come on, we're going to be late. It's all driftwood and bridge glass. And over the road, you've got an antique centre which is shut. It is Sunday today. An antiques centre which is shut, which looks like it used to be an old church or something, or a school. Someone looked that up as well, because I've no idea what it's talking about. The stones set into the high street at this point mark the site of the original Meekle Yet. At one entrance to the old town, demolished 1771. Can somebody uh, elaborate on that? Because I've no idea what he's talking about. There's even a tiny little cannon here. Some lovely houses, you know, like Victorian houses down here. And then you've got tiny little cottages, all different colours. It's really nice. And nearly every house is a, some kind of art gallery. Oh, this is the Selkirk Arms, Mazzy. Oh, you've got a story about this, haven't you? I did have, but I can't remember it. I was just looking at the menu. <laughs> I think Robert the Bruce stayed here for three nights. Or was that somewhere else? <laughs> I think I'm right, actually. I think it was here. <laughs> Mazzy wants that on the video because that's her favourite felt-tip colour. To go on the video, I was yeah, just but talking it's cute, to you. Mazzy. It's cute. <laughs> just behind the museum here, a bit more art. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting bored 
of it now, aren't you? Yeah, art doesn't interest me for very long. <laughs> I'm hoping there isn't any art in the museum. Okay. Yeah, we're in. <laughs> it looks good. We're in good. the museum. Yep. <laughs> the lady who's running the museum actually saw us in the graveyard this morning. talking about Billy Marshall. Yeah. And there's some Billy Marshall things here. Yep. I'm just looking here, Mazzy. These tokens, Cree Town, we're going there. We went through Tongland yesterday. Kakudbrid, where we're at. Oh, the communion tokens. Communion tokens oh, from all around the area, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Third time lucky. I keep trying to show you this. But I keep forgetting to turn my phone on. It says 115 on there. It's a horn cup. And they reckon that is the age the guy who made it was when he carved this, 115 years old. And it is the Billy Marshall, the king of the gypsies. King of the Galloway Tinkler Gypsies. So they reckon he made that in when he was 115 years old. It's got his initials on it. And the year 1788. You will not get a better story than this, Mazza. That's really interesting. An ash tree growing in the woods, which was cut down in 1912, St Mary's Isle. When they cut it up, the wood was split and 14 inches inside the bark, yeah, 14 yeah. inches inside, <laughs> 157 years earlier, they found some initials. That's amazing. A, D and M. How cool is that? Yeah, that's really good. A, D and M. Oh, look at the We're upstairs now. Mm -hmm. Still got half of it to do downstairs, but there's a one-way system. It's very similar to a museum we've been to before, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, with this upstairy bit. I think, well, we've been to two like this. One was in Cambridge, Yeah. and it was huge. Can you remember? Yeah. There were lots of doors open yeah. upstairs. I'm sure there was one in there Scotland. There was another one. I'm sure it was Scotland. So a bit of this and a bit of everything up here. What an interesting little game they used to play, the scouts. They would strap this around the boot, so you've got that, it's like a chicken's foot underneath. You'd run away and people would come looking for you. It was like a tracking game known as hare and hounds. Oh. So it's like hide and seek, but you'd leave yeah. your little tracks. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Found a really interesting story. Uh -huh. The Scottish Daily Mail, Friday, April the 19th, 1963. Yeah. It's telling the story of a guy from here, Kukubri, who was taken prisoner by the Germans. Well, they thought he were dead, right? So they put him in the mortuary, took him to the mortuary. And the nurse there, the Nazi nurse, examined him. She didn't think he was dead, but she left him there in the morgue with the others. He lay there for three days, pretending to be dead. Yeah. Right? And all the German soldiers thought they were dead. Yeah. And then one night, in the middle of the night, this non-Nazi doctor came back in the middle of the night and basically shook him. Yeah. And he, he came round and she said, I didn't think you were dead. And she let him, she helped him to escape. Wow. That's he had to lay there as a corpse, full yeah. of still, for three days. So she kept that a secret then? Yeah. What oh, a story. That's good. I know they're just clay pipes, but some of these are quite unusual actually. And for them to all be in one piece, I find quite interesting. And if you come along, got some sort of tobacco products. I like that, Mazzy. Oh, they... It's from 1800, a tobacco pouch made out of seal skin. Yeah. And check out how the other oh, no, I want to tell my little story. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, there's a pack of old woodbines there, which was actually found under the floorboards of a shop in Cuthbert Street. And the tiny look, size yeah. of a finger. Yeah, yeah, that's my little finger there, look. I saw these. What did you see, my How the other half live, you know, you posh people, not only do they just wear gloves, they have a tool to stretch them onto the hands for them. <laughs> That's just... Why would you, if you need to stretch a glove, then they're obviously too small for you, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> I do like the hair pieces though, they're lovely. All these are made out of jet. And I didn't know that, made popular by Queen Victoria after the death of Prince Albert. I didn't know it was her who made it popular, but 
Um, I don't know if it's all jet, but certainly comes from Whitby. Whitby's very well known for its jet. And over here, I found one of these. These are money bags. And I actually found one which looks just like that small one, but that's about the size of my thumbnail. I found a big one. Just found this a little bit interesting. So you've got John Thompson, a club maker from Del BT. He ran his business for 64 years and he died at the age of 95. So some of these are his like tools. If you come down to here, these little children's clocks, which are really interesting. He actually made those while, when he was 93 years of age. They're well made, really good. Another little interesting um, item I want to show you. So it's not this one, this is a walking stick, ebony. But if you see the one behind it, which I find this quite interesting, it says the walking stick was manufactured in Britain during the Second World War. Its tip cont contains an electric bulb to provide the walker with some light during the blackouts. It was battery powered with a button near the handle. A walking stick with a light. What a great invention. Real pearls. That's how pearls would look. Coming out of a muscle by the sound of it. And this one here, a necklace made of pearls. They are the tiniest little pearls. How that hasn't broken, I have no idea. Stunning. In, in this case, there's some lovely little women's trinkets. For one, I do love this, made out of shells. Um, I don't know if they're bracelets. Oh, they are bracelets and sort of like a choker collary thing. If you look beside it, it's got the tiniest, delicatest necklace made with tiny little pearls. And moving over to this, which I found quite interesting. A silver pomander contained a, a romantic, roman, ro a aromatic ball was carried by ladies for protection against infection and bad odors. Was that their bad odors? I'm guessing it was. This has got, my, got to be my little favorite piece. It's tiny, it's cute. There's a little notebook. Mom's Meg. Remember that. that big cannon at Threve Castle I was telling the story of? Yeah, I remember that sort of thing. Um, these two cannonballs were found at Threve Castle, Mazzy. So wow. could they be from the Mons Meg cannon? Oh. This is nice. I know it's just a chair, but the date of it um, actually intrigues me. When was it from? I just read it. Oh yeah, dated 1564 and belonged to the Trotter family. I'm sure Del Boy would have felt really grand sitting in that. It's just amazing how it's still standing, you know? Buy something from Ikea these days. It hardly lasts, hardly lasts a week. There you go, you can read it if you like. And this little chair actually came from Free of Castle. If you watched our vlog the other day, where the um, castle was over the river, it actually belonged there, interesting. It's a chuff. I remember when we went to Ireland, we were looking all over for these birds. Because I believe they only come from, you'll only find them on the south coast of Ireland and Cornwall area. I don't think you get them in Scotland. Like crows with red beaks. Okay, we're back downstairs again now. Make our way round and then we're done. It's been really good, hasn't it, babe? You yeah. enjoyed it? <laughs> Very good one. And some guns. I'm not going to go into each individual. If you're interested, there you go. And here you've got some old lanterns and sort of candle holders, etc. That's a nice big one at the bottom. But what took my eye is a folding pocket lantern. I mean, why would you buy candles that small? That's tiny. Just come across this. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read this. It's a horse's foot cover. I've never heard of anything like it. Apparently when the horse was pulling the lawnmower, they'd put them on its feet to prevent horseshoe marks on the lawn. Do you find that interesting, honey? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Unlike these up here. 
Let's have a look. Cock fighting spurs. Wherever they Oh yeah, yeah. This is probably the only gun I'm gonna be talking about. It's a flintlock spring gun. Now it's made out of wood. Guns of this type were in use against poachers until they pay, become illegal in 1827. So it would be mounted and if a poacher sort of triggered it, that would, that would actually shoot the poacher. That's actually really interesting. So this was a museum in 1893 apparently. Wow. And that's a picture of it in, in 1900 with the skeleton of an Indian elephant in the middle. Changed much? Let me just turn around and show them. It hasn't got. No, it's um, balcony, I think. Yeah, it hasn't got as many sort of containers at the bottom though. We've just both come across this. We can't understand really what it's trying to say. A mystery gate. So, if anyone's got an idea on the story of this, let us know. What is it? I don't know. No. <laughs> That's the engine off the first motor car in this area, ever. Really? Oh 1890s. Gosh. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. Let's have a read, if you want to have a read. The first privately owned petrol driven car in this area imported from Germany. <laughs> what sort of car was it from? Um, from, I can't even see that, from the Benny Motor Car or something? Benny Motor Car, yeah. The first petrol driven one in Galloway. Well, there you go. That's really interesting. Just caught me eye. These old fashioned irons. Like this one here, look. You'd fill it up with um, charcoal. But that's actually a great invention, isn't it, for us travellers? You know, you ain't, you ain't got no electric. We could put some fire in that with wood, coal or whatever. It's a great invention even to this day now. It's a very nice ship isn't it? Let's so get a closer look. Yeah, you've got a story about I it. Have. It's made out of bone, for yeah. one which is incredible. And secondly it was made by the prisoners of war during Napoleonic War in 1805. Wow that's interesting. It's incredible isn't it? Yeah. Three Castle I remember saying to Mazza the other day, it needs metal detecting. We both said that, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Someone's beaten us to it. A hoard of 34 medieval silver coins found there. And I nearly missed it. This is what I actually came to see. Mm. This, I was reading, I don't know if it's true, was the oldest ever sports cup or sports... Medal. Medal. Trophy. Trophy. Yeah. But it doesn't actually say anything about that there. But it's from 1587. Could be. Ugh. Take that off now. What a wonderful museum. So good. Um, yeah. I do like it when museums don't have like a Roman bit. Uh, war bit. You know, it's just bits and pieces. Isn't and you have that? to look through every cupboard. Yeah. And it's all mixed up. Yeah, and really amongst good it you'll stuff. find like a little hidden gem yeah. and it was really good. And yeah. that is, I think, the first museum we've ever been in where I'm actually waiting for Mazzy. Yeah. <laughs> she was yeah. reading everything in I there. I know, it was just fascinating, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really yeah. enjoyed it. The lady in there was lovely. Very helpful, wasn't she? Yeah. So that was nice. And we actually got a leaflet for the graveyard where we took you yesterday and showed you Billy Marshall or whatever it was called. Um, the King of the Gypsies. The King of the Gypsies. <laughs> there is actually a, a churchyard trail, so there is other in, interesting things to see in there. We might go back and have a little yeah. look at that. But what a wonderful museum. Let's go over and just show them the bowls first. Scotland are really big on bowls. Well, I told over. you that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the, I go yeah, they do watch. like to play bowls, but so do England. Yeah, all right then, let's call it a day. <laughs> right, thanks for joining, guys. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow bright and early. Love you all, tubbits. Love y'all. Bye-de-bye. Bye. -de -bye. Bye.